Hi, my name is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is part 12 in a series of videos showing you how to install Windows XP. In this short video we're going to look at simply installing Windows uh, Flash Player from Adobe and that's important for seeing some content on some websites. Um, the reason this video is going to be short is because I want it to be kind of encapsulated as essentially that's the only item, the only topic for this video. The next video in the series is going to go more into depth with installing a driver which hopefully will work uh, a, a wireless network card driver. So anyway, this video, a couple minutes long, installing Adobe Flash Player. If you need to just install Flash by itself, you can do a Google search on Adobe Flash and look for the get.adobe.com link to do that. Here again it's asking if I want the Google Toolbar. I'm just going to take that check mark away um, so that we don't have the Google Toolbar installed. And I'll choose Download now. And once again, um, it seems that the screen is just sitting here. I've done nothing except click on what I was supposed to click on. And I'm sitting and waiting and I could wait for hours because What's happening is, in the background, you'll see here 0% of whatever, of Flash Player being installed. I have to click on that in order to get that window to pop up, right? And now I can click on Save. And this is where, you know, the average user really is uh, at a disadvantage. You know, if they've not had these experiences before, um, they're just going to be stymied by this and wonder, you know what's going on I tried to download this and I was sitting and sitting and you know they might know enough to go into the task manager and cancel Internet Explorer just not knowing what's going on but um, again I'm gonna be in this software folder under computer support I'll go into Adobe Flash and then download this file that has kind of a cryptic name to it uh, that probably wouldn't be intuitive later if I stumbled on it and wondered oh what's this installation file um, and it completes the download here and once it's done I'll go ahead and open the folder to uh, to go ahead and run and install that flash um, installation so uh, eventually the flash install file downloads I'm gonna click on open folder and here I am in that folder that I created where I saved it we'll double click on flash and choose run And if you're a beginning user unfamiliar with this, Flash is what's referred to as a plugin. It allows you to see certain content on websites, the content which would typically be a little more flashy, animation and videos, that type of thing. And as of, uh, this is October 2011, Adobe's up to Flash Player version 11. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while the installation continues. We're only about 50% complete now. So here Adobe Flash Player 11 is finished um, installing. I'm going to click on Finish. And at the end of this installation, you'll see that uh, we're probably going to be taken to uh, yep, yet another Adobe page. And it's just acknowledging that that Flash Player got installed properly. 